Now, one or two more concepts I will deal with this identities, namely, if A, B, C or the angles of a triangle, I start with that again. Of course, it is either you write pi or 180 degrees, then you will have A by 2 plus B by 2 plus C by 2 is equal to say pi by 2 or A by 2 plus B by 2 plus C by 2, rather I take that to the other side, then I will be having is equal to pi by 2 minus C by 2, then take tangents on both sides, tan A by 2 plus B by 2 is equal to tan 90 minus theta, that is cot theta, that is 1 by tan theta or in other words 1 by tan C by 2. Therefore, you will be having tan A by 2 plus tan B by 2 by 1 minus say tan A by 2 into tan B by 2 is equal to 1 by tan C by 2. As usual, I cross multiply and get the result as tan A by 2 into tan B by 2 plus tan B by 2 into tan C by 2 plus tan C by 2 into tan A by 2 is equal to 1. This I will prefer to call it as the third concept which you should remember. If A, B, C or the angles of a triangle, then this result is true. This is the third concept if you mark it, that will help you very much. Now, in the same manner, if I multiply the numerator and the denominator by tan A by 2, tan B by 2, and tan C by 2, then I will be having here, say, cot A by 2 plus cot B by 2 plus cot C by 2 will be equal to say cot A by 2 into cot B by 2 into say cot C by 2. Better you remember this, why better you should remember this result so that many of the problems given in properties of triangles are involving this concept. If A, B, C or the angles of a triangle then either you can use this result or this result, I will call it as the fourth concept which is involved in the problem also. Now, I will just uh, deal with the problem that was asked there, which will be involving the third concept here. You are asked to find out what is the minimum or the maximum value of tan squared A by 2 plus tan squared B by 2 plus tan squared C by 2. You are asked to find either the minimum or the maximum value, whatever it may be of this expression. Once this expression is given, I am tempted to think a corresponding expression here. Tan A by 2 is there, tan B by 2 is there, here also tan B by 2, tan C by 2 is there. Suppose for the sake of simplicity, if I call tan A by 2 is equal to say x, tan B by 2 is equal to say y and tan C by 2 is equal to say z. Then that expression which I call it as the third concept will become say x y plus y z plus z x equal to say 1. For the sake of simplicity, I have marked like that. Now, we know that say x plus x squared plus y squared plus z squared say minus x y minus y z minus z x is nothing but, I use this in the last problem also, say x minus y the whole squared plus y minus z the whole squared plus 
z minus x the whole square. This is equal to this result. Now, each term here is positive being a square term. Therefore, this must be greater than or equal to the 0. Therefore, this must be greater than or equal to 0 since each contributory factor in this bracket is a square term that cannot be negative. Maximum it can be 0 for which I have counted here equal to the 0. Therefore, I will be having x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus xy minus yz minus zx that is equal to say minus 1 is greater than or equal to say 1 or I will be having tan squared a by 2 plus tan squared b by 2 plus tan squared c by 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, the minimum value of the minimum value of say tan squared a by 2 plus tan squared b by 2 plus tan squared c by 2 equal to say 1. And this is another important problem which was asked in the competitive examinations. Therefore, you remember all these problem come from the concepts, rather the four concepts I have mentioned. Now again you may ask me, sir how I connect this? You are asked to find the minimum value of this, suddenly how do you think about that? a by 2, b by 2, c by 2, that two tangents are involved. Therefore, I have got only one concept that is a third concept like that. From that, you understand how I just got all these results.